Hello. Today we are showing you the unboxing of a new Rocker Mini BMX. Upon receiving your Rocker BMX, carefully open the box and lay out the contents. It should look something like this. Once you have removed all the safety packaging, you should have the main Rocker BMX assembly. This includes some bars with pre-installed grips, a pair of pedals and a seat post unit. If anything is missing, now is the time to let us know. The tools we are going to use today are a 15mm pedal spanner, a 5mm allen key, a 6mm allen key and a 19mm spanner. First step we are going to install the pedals. Take the right hand pedal. Screw the right hand pedal into the right hand crank arm clockwise. Tighten with a 15mm spanner. Next, take the left pedal and screw the left pedal into the left hand crank arm anti-clockwise. Be careful not to cross thread your pedals into the crank arms and make sure the pedal is done up nice and tight. Running loose pedals destroys the threads very quickly. Next, you will need the seat post unit. Pop the seat post into the seat tube. Hold at desired height and tighten with a 5mm Allen key. Next we are going to be fitting the handlebars. Carefully remove the stem faceplate bolts using a 6mm Allen key. Ensuring the correct orientation, hang the handlebars in the stem bar recess. Replace the stem faceplate and begin screwing in the four 6mm allen key bolts. Ensure they are tightened down evenly. Once the faceplate starts to bite, spin the bars up into the correct position and finally clamp down tightly. Your rocker is now assembled and ready for detailed checking. First we need to check the front wheel alignment and adjust as necessary. Your stem rear pinch bolts should still be loose at this stage. If your stem and bars do not align with your front wheel, then we need to adjust this so they are straight. Once in line, please tighten the pinch bolts on the rear of the stem. Your bike may or may not have come with the locking washer already installed. If not, using a 19mm spanner, please remove the wheel nut, insert the locking washer and then tighten the wheel nut back up. Please repeat this on the opposite side. Now check your bottom bracket and crank assembly. Look at the locking nut and cone to make sure they've been installed correctly and not cross threaded. Turn the cranks and make sure everything's tight but spins smoothly. Whilst looking at your cranks, it's always good to look at the sprocket and make sure it's been installed correctly as well. Make sure it runs straight and true and there is no tight spots in your chain. Rocker BMX uses a freewheel and the chain should not be as tight as it would be on a normal BMX with a driver. If the chain is too tight it will slow down your rear wheel's free spin. Also check the rear wheel alignment 
and correct as necessary using a 19mm spanner to loosen and tighten the rear wheel nuts. Finally, we need to make sure the tyre pressure is correct. Carefully remove the valve caps on your Schrader valves and connect the pump of your choice. Make sure you put in no more than 45 psi as this is the limit. Carefully remove the pump and replace your valve cap. So there we have it, the unboxing of a new Rocker Mini BMX. We hope you enjoy your new bike and stay tuned for more episodes about bike maintenance.